This is a Rutke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods and welcome to episode 30 of my Mac Pro series. In this episode I will be explaining to you how to run a more powerful graphics card than your Mac Pro officially supports. Now before we continue I would like to say Happy New Year's to everyone. Right now I am filming this on December 31st, 2016 and plan on uploading this for midnight of January 1st, 2017. It's not foreseen yet if it's going to actually happen, but hopefully it does, and either way, Happy New Year's. Anyway, in this episode I'll be explaining to you that yes, you can run a video card with more than two 6 pins or one 8 pin with an adapter. Now, some people have actually managed to run their system cards like a 980Ti in their system with just the two 6 pins and a special adapter. I wouldn't recommend this. Although it's possible and it may work for you, there's other problems, especially if you're using an older, more power-hungry graphics card. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but originally, I believe the first real 8-pin cards came out around 2011. That's when I first really started noticing them, like in the GTX 580. Now, of course, 2011 was midway through the 4,1 slash 5,1's lifespan, and of course, Apple wasn't about to redesign their board to allow you to have two 8-pins, or at least one 8-pin. So, our Mac Pros never had a chance for 8-pin cards, with more than a 6-pin, of course. But we never had a chance for 8-pin cards. The thing is, our power supplies, the first generation, had very powerful power supplies. In fact, the 1,1 one one has somewhere between an 850 and 1,000 watt power supply. I can't remember exactly which. And the later models had even more powerful power supplies. Now that means our power supplies can run the latest graphics cards with the most power hungriness possible. But how do we run them if we can't run them off the six pins? Well, we'll have to use adapters, and I'll show you some adapter samples, and also a sample of an adapter you should never, ever, ever consider using. And that adapter would be the mini 6-pin to 8-pin adapter you see on eBay and stuff. Never use those, because even though they may work, there's a slim, actually there's a pretty good possibility that it can burn out the port, the power port on your main board. So anyway, let's start up and... I'll show you some things about where things would go for these adapters. Here is my GTX 970. I decided to use a reference board so I didn't have to worry about adapters. So, needless to say, it's a two six pin setup, as you can see right here. It is plugged into the board in its ports right here. And I really need to dust my Mac Pro apparently. But anyway, so it goes into these ports that are on the main board. Now let's say I was using a more powerful 970 for instance. The SSC for instance has a 6 and an 8 pin. Instead of this SC which is a reference board that's just been slightly overclocked. To use a 6 and an 8 pin I would have to either pull power from the SATA ports in the hard drive bay with an adapter I'll show you in a second or pull power from the Molex pins in the optical drive bay. Now in later models, like for instance the 4 and 5 comma 1, they use SATA in the optical drive bay too, which is okay. So I'll show you a quick example of an adapter that you could possibly use. I have this adapter from a older PC that had a very high wattage power supply, but no 8 pins in it. So to use the power supply and the video card I was using, I needed an adapter. And I got this Molex adapter, which would be similar to what you'd have to use. This is an 8-pin to Molex. Now, I'm not 100% sure if Molex supplies enough power, but this has more pins in it than the other adapter I'll show you, which is an, uh, just a 6-pin version. More pins on the Molex end, so it must use more power. And it should, I think in theory, be fine. Now there's another version for like SATA. SATA is a lot easier to use. You can use a one SATA end for a six pin and a two SATA end 
for an 8 pin which I'll show you in a minute but anyway like I said you can pull power from here and run the wires down through here and into your card or pull power from up in here and run the wires down now this is a problem though if you want to keep using your optical drives or all your hard drives and in that case you'll have to use a external power supply a PC one and there's many different ways to jerry-rig a system up where you can have the power supply on the outside and have it turn on at the same time your Mac Pro kicks on but this video is just to show you how you can in theory just run your graphics card off of your Mac Pro power supply so anyway let's look at the adapters real quick and then we'll wrap up the video okay so here we go into uncharted territory if you really need help figuring out how to do this you should probably find someone who has done it before I have not done this yet because I do not have a video card that needs the power but I can still show you the adapters and show you ways you may be able to do it and get the power safely now these adapters are a little sketchy because none of them are exactly standardized now I would say that the 8 pin versions of these adapters would work fine but I'm not a hundred percent sure so in that case you'd have to follow a diagram which I found that was very very useful like this right here it shows you how to connect the PSU's pins and the other six pin into a card this is a six and that's an eight pin there's multiple different ways to do this for instance your six pins may be like this and this your main one of your main six pins goes straight into the six one goes into an adapter for an eight pin and the other one goes into the adapter from the PSU for instance a Molex or something like that to make your eight pin power or you could use both six pins and put it into the eight pin adapter for the eight pin that would guarantee you have enough power for the eight pins and it would work I know that from past experience then you can run the six pin from the PSU so I'll show you adapters I personally probably recommend using six pin adapters but eight pins will work fine now if we go and see the adapters here's an example right here this I think would be fine just a SATA to 6 pin but there's other versions like a 2 SATA to 6 pin and there's also versions like 2 SATA to 8 pin I don't really know how much power SATA gives out and or if this is a hundred percent safe doing 8 pin but it might be also we have a molex version like this for instance this is a molex to six pin they also have molex to eight pin like i just showed you which i have myself i still don't know if the eight pin was safe but i never really stressed that card in that system and it worked fine for me but if worse comes to worse i would recommend using for instance a bunch of six pin adapters now before I finish up the video I want to show you the adapters that you find on eBay that can burn out your ports this is one of them a mini six pin like in your Mac Pro to an eight pin don't buy it ever do not buy this but if you want to use a custom cable that looks good and looks like it's from the factory you could do the two mini six pin to eight pin adapter and then you won't have to plug any adapters into your six pin adapters if you're just using one eight pin so that is the end of this episode I've showed you how you can use alternative power methods to run your video card and keep it from getting starved and shutting off like in episode 19 where I demonstrated that happening Anyway, well thank you for watching this video. This has been a Rutkin Mods video.